One important application of derivatives is to solve optimization problems. Examples of optimization problems are finding the selling price of a product to maximize revenue and finding the dimensions of a physical product to minimize manufacturing cost. In order to solve these problems, we would have to find the maximum and minimum values of some function. A function has an absolute maximum at x equals to c if f of c is greater than or equal to f of x for every x in the domain of f. Let's take a look at this graph here. Notice that at x equals to 6, the graph is the highest and it has a y value of 13. Okay, so f has an absolute maximum at x equals to 6 and the absolute maximum value is 13. A function has an absolute minimum at x equals to c if f of c is less than or equal to f of x for every x in the domain of f. Let's take a look at the graph again. Okay, well, the lowest point is here at x equals to 0, and the y value there is negative 2. Okay, so f has an absolute minimum at x equals to 0, and the absolute minimum value is negative 2. The function could have maximum and minimum values that are local. This happens when the graph of the function is the highest or lowest in a small open interval around x equals to c. These are called local maximum and local minimum values. In our graph, f has a local max at x equals to 2 here. Notice this little bump. Okay, so it's a little local maximum. And it also has a local minimum at x equals to 4. So here, there's a little minimum here, a local minimum. If you look at the graph of f, notice that the slope of the tangent line at a local max or min is 0. Okay, so for example here, the slope of the tangent line is 0, also here, and here. Okay, so if the derivative of f exists, at a local max or min, the derivative is zero. However, there could be a maximum or minimum where the derivative doesn't exist. Let's take a look at an example of that. Take a look at f of x equals to one minus the absolute value of x. Here's the graph. This function has an absolute max at x equals to 0 here, but the derivative does not exist at x equals to 0. Notice we have a corner, okay, and the derivative doesn't exist at a corner. So either the derivative at a local max or min doesn't exist, or if it does exist, it's 0. x equals to c is said to be a critical number if f prime at c equals to 0 or f prime at c doesn't exist. So all local max and min occur at critical numbers. If we want to find local max and min, then it makes sense to check for critical numbers, that is, places where the derivative is either 0 or undefined.